In this video, I'm going to extend my Bluetooth network in Home Assistant with a USB cable and an ESP32 board. Alright, so I, uh, a while ago I created a video on Bluetooth in Home Assistant um, and it sort of baffled me how easy it was to set up. It kind of just did it. Um, which is what we want from Home Assistant, I guess, is we just want those things to work. But I was just still surprised. Um, but now I'm in a, at a point where, so the Bluetooth I have, usually Bluetooth, the range is 10 to 20 meters or so. But the problem I have is that I have a lot more area than 10 to 20 meters from that Bluetooth uh, dongle that I set up. So how do I extend it? And it was, uh, I've been wondering about this for a while and I was sort of thinking, well, how do you extend Bluetooth? Do you just get bigger antennas on Bluetooth? I read there were some standards that go like 100 meters. Like, what do I do? And then I spoke to my friend Aaron and uh, he said, well, have you considered Bluetooth proxies? I'm like, what's a, what's a Bluetooth proxy? And it turns out that using a USB cable and this Atom Light, M5 stack Atom Light, you can create what's called a Bluetooth proxy. And that means that this little device has Bluetooth in it, and that can then proxy that Bluetooth traffic via Wi-Fi to Home Assistant. So I can put this anywhere I've got Wi-Fi on the network, which is exactly what I need. So I looked into that and it turned out as easy as it was to set up Bluetooth, it is similarly easy to create these Bluetooth proxies. So let's do that. Now, um, I've got open here the, uh, the, the the ESP home page for Bluetooth proxies. And as it says here, Home Assistant can expand its Bluetooth reach, what I want, by communicating through the Bluetooth proxy component ESP home. So you set this up through ESP home, which is part of Home Assistant. Uh, I believe Navukaza now has taken over ESP home, so it's all in within the same group. Um, and each of these Bluetooth proxies can then uh, connect to Bluetooth devices and proxy the traffic back to Home Assistant through this component inside of ESP Home. I hope that makes sense. I'll show you in just a second. Um, so there's this manual way of doing it on the ESPHome.io website. So you know you can set up the configuration here. You can uh, use your ESP um, what's it called the the studio thing where you um, you know, in the in Home Assistant, you can program all this in YAML and you can upload it to your device. But there's a much easier way, as it says up here. If you're looking to create an ESP Home, know that it's just a Bluetooth proxy. See our Bluetooth proxy installer website. And yes, I am. I don't want this device to do anything else. It could be a Bluetooth proxy and something else, and I would have to do it myself. But if I just want a Bluetooth proxy, I can do this. So. That is what this ready-made projects website is. And there's a few different things that they've set up that you can that are ready-made. There's voice assistant, Bluetooth proxy, media player, and an empty ESP home device. I mean empty is not a project, it just clears it. Um, and for the Bluetooth proxy, I can choose a generic ESP32. So that's if you just had an ESP32 board. They're readily available. There's many of them around. There's the M5 stack, which is what I've got. Right? And then there is the uh, what's it called again? The only makes ESP32 power over Ethernet ISO. So these, I haven't played with these, but the power of Ethernet is quite handy because uh, Wi-Fi at best of times is a bit meh. Um, so if you can power it uh, with Ethernet as well as connect it, well, that would be better. So I might try those down the track, but I have an M5 stack Atom Light. So let me just unpack this for you. Um, they're little itty bitty devices. Uh, they have Bluetooth on them. They have Wi-Fi. They have lots of pins. I've used them for my water sensors before, uh, water tank sensors rather. And I have a bunch of them lying around, so it's a no-brainer for me. And this is what they look like. Like, let's see if it'll focus on my on here. But they have all these pins, and you power them just with USB-C. That's it. So it's a small ESP32 board with a case. Exactly what it is. So I'm gonna hook that up to my USB, and I'm gonna plug it into the USB port, here's the other end, on my laptop. So, eh, where is it? Like so. And all I have to do now is start the installation and click connect. There you go. And it's, uh, where is it? Bluetooth peripheral device, that's not it. 
USB serial port. That's the one pair. You see, there's a bunch of other things that are um, considered serial ports. So I connect to that, my COM6 here, and it, it does that. Install Bluetooth proxy? Well, yeah, that's what I want. So we click on that. Do you want to install Bluetooth proxy 2, 2023, blah, blah, blah. That's the version of the ready-made project for the Bluetooth proxy. All data on the device will be erased. That's okay. Install that. And then that just takes uh, a little bit to uh, install the firmware. I mean, there's not a lot of storage on these devices. They're quite simple. So it doesn't take that long. So this will take two minutes. From memory, it takes less. But uh, thanks to the magic of editing, we should be done very soon. And there we go. Installation complete. So that didn't take two minutes. About a minute or so. Um, it's pretty quick. So next, so we got to configure the Wi-Fi connection because obviously it's connecting over Wi-Fi, so that's part of it as well. And all of this is going to be stored on the device itself. So let's just find the password. There's the password. I'm going to connect to my IoT Wi-Fi network. So it's going to configure the Wi-Fi. And the device is now on the Wi-Fi. So this little thing, well, it's plugged in now. Let's just do this. There it is. This little thing is now on my Wi-Fi network. So now we want to put it into Home Assistant so that Home Assistant knows that this is a Bluetooth proxy. So we're going to click on Add it to Home Assistant. It's going to take us to this um, sort of linking site in within uh, myhomeassistant.io. Open that link, and that should open up my Home Assistant instance. There it is. And then it says, do you want to set up ESP Home? And that's what the Bluetooth proxy is. And we go, yep, okay, let's do that. Now the host here is the host, that's the Wi-Fi of this, because Home Assistant doesn't know what IP address it was given on the Wi-Fi. So we just gotta look that up. So in here we have the Atom Bluetooth proxy. See, I already have another one that's set up. This is the one that's in the office, which is where I am. So I just need the, wi the IP address for the Wi-Fi connection, which is there. So I go back here, and that is all you have to do. Just give it the IP of the actual device. Submit that, and you can put an area if you want. I don't, uh, haven't used areas for these devices, not as important, uh, but we could. We can put on here, Lasses Office. Um, and that's it. You now have a Bluetooth proxy for Home Assistant, which means that this device can now see Bluetooth devices that are near it. Um, and they will, as you can see up here, automatically come in. So I have two Curtain 3 devices, which are from another video, if you haven't seen that, that's linked there, on how to connect those. Um, they were so new at the time that they wouldn't automatically configure into Home Assistant, but they are now there, so things just pop up, which is nice. Uh, if you want to see where this is, it's under ESP Home, this Bluetooth proxy. There's two of them here. So I have one device here. And you can see that's all that comes up. It doesn't do anything as such. It just looks out for Bluetooth connections. Um, and you might wonder, what am I going to now connect to this? Well, that's going to be a next video um, that's going to be on this channel. So that's all I wanted to say. This is super easy. Extending your Bluetooth uh, range for your home network, which uh, baffled me for a while. So if you like the video, let me know by subscribing or liking the video. Uh, and if you wanna ask questions about how this works in more detail maybe, uh, comment below. Otherwise, the links are in the description and I will see you in the next video where we're gonna use this Bluetooth proxy to set up some cool new devices. Yeah, so see you then. In this video, we're going to create a Bluetooth proxy. In this video, we're going to extend...